Today's lesson will be finding the part when we're given the whole and the percent. Two formulas that we could use is part over whole. Another word for part when you're looking at a word problem is associated with is. As for the whole, another word usually in word problems would be of. So part over whole or is over of is equal to the percent over 100. Because remember, we know that the percent always is over 100. The second way we could solve it is percent of, so multiply, the whole is equal to the part. Uh, the part. So percent times whole equals the part. Let's look at our first example. On my quiz, I got a 95%. It's a typo. Right here should be if. If there were 20 questions on the test, how many questions did I answer correct? First thing we want to do is determine what is the part, what is the whole, and what is the percent. The percent's easy because 95%, we have that percent sign attached to the percent. So the percent is 95. There were 20 questions on the test. This problem is telling us that there in fact were 20 questions. The total amount of questions were 20. Total is similar to the whole. So for the whole, we're going to put 20. And then it says, how many questions did I answer correct? So our question is, how many questions did I answer correct? Which is a part of it. A piece of the test, we want to figure out how many we got right. We said that our formula was part over whole. is equal to the percent oops I don't want to erase that the percent out of a hundred. Now we can fill in what we know. into our equation. This 100 is never going to change. It's always going to re remain the same because we know a percent is always out of 100. The percent we said was 95. So we're going to replace the percent that was here with the 95 over there. The whole is 20. So our whole that's right here, we're going to replace it where we see the word whole. And then the part up top is what we don't know. That's what we're trying to solve for. So now we could say, how did we get from 20 to 100? We multiplied by 5. So since we scaled up by 5, we would say this number multiplied by 5 will get us 95. So now we have to work backwards and say 95 divided by 5 gets us what number here? And when we do 95 divided by 5, our answer will be 19. So that means this person got 19 questions correct in order to get a 95 on her test or his test. Let's look at our second example. At Little Rock School, there are 560 students enrolled. If 85% of the students ride their bike to school, how many students ride their bike to school? So let's look at what we know. There are 560 students enrolled and 85%. We want to determine how many students ride their bike to the school. So let's break this down. 560 students. 
This problem is saying that in that whole entire school, there are 560 students. So we know that 560 represents the whole. Again, this 85% right here makes it easy for us to tell that it's 85 as the percent. And again, we're trying to figure out how much, what part of 560 does 85 represent? 85 percent represent. Before we looked at it by creating a proportion, now I want to look at it in that other formula that we said, that the whole times the percent is equal to the part. Okay, so now we said the whole is 560. So we're going to represent 560 where whole is. The only problem is that this percent, we can't just write 85% we're going to have to write it in decimal form. You should remember that 85%, in order to get it in decimal form, we take the 85 and we move that decimal two spots to the left because we're dividing by 100 technically. So 0.85 is 85% in decimal form. And if we multiply those two together, we will get our part. I want you to take the time right now and multiply these two together. Pause the video and then you could check to see if your answer is correct. When you multiplied 560 times 0.85, you should have got 476 as your part. So that means that 85% of the students that ride their bike, 460, 476 people ride their bike to school out of the whole entire school, which is 560. For this next, next example, there are 50 pieces of candy in a bowl. If 20% of the candy is chocolate, then how many pieces of candy are chocolate? I want you to try this problem and we will go over it tomorrow in class. You can use either formula that you want, whether it be the proportion or that number sentence. You can do whatever you want, whatever is easier for you. Maybe you could try it both ways just to see how you could do it two different ways. Good luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow.